Exploring Smart Contracts Okay, so now that we know what a smart contract is, let's look at a real-world example. There are a lot of smart contracts on the Ethereum network. If we want to take a look at an example, we can go to CoinMarketCap, which displays all the coins and tokens, and let's take a look at Shiba Inu, which is a token and it has a contract on Ethereum. So let's click on this contract's address. This will take us to Etherscan, a blockchain explorer. Now, here we can see Shiba Inu, the token, and we get some stats. We can also see that if we click on the contract's address over here, we should see that this contract has a balance. This is because this smart contract is an account, and we know an account has a balance, although this is its own token. We can also see that if we click on the contract tab, we will see the actual code. This snippet of code is Solidity code and the original code base that was deployed. Now you might say, Daniel, well you told us that the EVM runs bytecode and bytecode is stored on the blockchain, not this. And yes, correct. This snippet of code is not stored on the blockchain, but is present on Etherscan, because Etherscan makes it available for developers to verify and upload the original code base. If we scroll down, we can also see something familiar, and this is the ABI. This also is not stored on the blockchain, however, is present here for us to know what functions actually exist in this contract. What is stored on the blockchain is in here. This is the contract creation code, and with it, the developer sent through the bytecode. Etherscan makes it nice for us that we can decompile this bytecode or switch to opcode view. If we do this, we can actually see some of the instructions that the EVM will run when someone calls the smart contract. How cool is this? Etherscan is wonderful for exploring the blockchain. Other than that, we also get some constructor arguments, which we'll learn about later on. But just know that the bytecode is stored on the blockchain for this contract, and we can access this by referring to the public address of this smart contract. Now, this is known as an ERC20 token. We will talk about standards later on. But let me show you something also cool. This is OpenSea, an NFT non-fungible token marketplace. These are tokens on the blockchain. And if we select a random one, then let's scroll down and click on the details page. Here we can see contract address. Let's click on that. And here we go. This is the sketchy A book club NFT contract. And it looks exactly the same where we can view the contract, the code, the bytecode, and so on. Unlike Shiba Inu that we looked at previously, which is a ERC-20 token, this contract follows an ERC-721 token standard, which we'll discuss later on. We've mentioned before that a smart contract has executable code, so let's take a look at that. If we go down on the contract tab, we should see the read contract and write contract buttons. Reading from a contract doesn't require a state change in the network because we're simply viewing the data. On the other hand, writing to a smart contract does change the state of the network. Let's go to read contract. Now on this page, we see this little connect button. This button asks us to connect with our wallet so that we can perform actions through MetaMask then interacting with a node to get access to the data. But because we are on Etherscan, and especially on the read contract tab, we don't really need to connect. This is because even though this will cost a tiny amount of gas, it is covered by Etherscan services. And we get to read the data of the node for free. And here we get to see a list of all the methods that we can read from in the smart contract and this is known because of the ABI. So let's read some data. For example, we can look at the max supply of NFT tokens, which is 10,000, the name, which is Sketchy A Book Club, or balance of, 
which requires us to give it an address. So let's go and grab our address and see how many tokens we hold. Probably nothing, but we can verify this by querying the data. And indeed, it's zero. And that's how simple it is interacting with Etherscan with a contract. We can also now look at the right contract. We will need to connect our wallet to this website in order for us to interact with these functions. And that is because this website needs to know our address and our wallet might need to sign some transactions because this will also cost gas which will not be covered by Etherscan but by us if we want to change the state of the network. To connect our wallet we can simply click on the connect to web3, say ok, select our wallet and click on next and connect. Now if we click on MetaMask we should see that there's this little connected button. And on the left, we can also see our wallet address. That means that we are connected. I have to add this and say that be cautious when you are connecting your wallet to certain websites. Make sure that it is definitely a trusted site because that's also how people get hacked and scammed and lose their crypto. And now we should be able to call some of these functions. But are we really? Let's look at this pause function and I take it that this will set a state. So I'm going to say this should be true maybe and click on write. We should see MetaMask pop up and try and figure out how much gas this will use in the computation of the transaction. But we see this red thing and also a warning. And this is because we are not really supposed to be calling functions on this smart contract especially functions that could alter the state. The owner of the smart contract has made it so that only the owner could call this function. So we could go ahead with it and continue anyway, but we will lose the gas. So I'm going to reject this transaction. Now not all of these functions are gated for the owner only, such as mint, we could call this, but this NFT collection is already minted out. So there's also no point. However, just know by calling these functions on the right contract tab, you will be altering state and paying gas for that. The best way for me to illustrate this will be in the next video where I'm going to write a tiny smart contract.